Hey, this is Jason again with Fat Fender Garage. We're talking a little bit about uh, that hot rod look, that wet look, the uh, flawless paint finish. And so how's that achieved? Well, it's achieved by a ton of work. This isn't something that you're just gonna go out and spray it and have it look good. It's gonna really start with your body work and how well it was done. And, and if that was done right and you get all the way to the end, then you stand to have a little success to have it turn out pretty nice. And so one of the things that's kind of a key requirement is trying to get rid of uh, the little bit of orange peel and get that clear coat to lay as flat as you can. When you're spraying your gun, there's overlap. It kind of builds and creates little waves as you're kind of laying it down. And so in order to knock that all down and get it flat, it's gonna take a lot of work. And so typically what we do is we start and we do all this by hand. We don't use any machines in this process. Uh, we want our guys to kind of feel the block and the sandpaper, how it's cutting and make sure they're well aware of what's happening. Sometimes you use the machine and it takes off so much that you know, you've, you've gone through the clear coat. So if you've put plenty of clear down, and I'm gonna say at least three coats, uh, in a lot of instances, you probably need about five. Uh, we start with an acrylic block and somewhere between 800 to 1000 grit. Uh, we'll take some sandpaper that's like this. It's kind of a wet or dry 3M product. And so we get it, we soak it. We have uh, spray bottles. We wrap this around here and then we'll just start cutting in kind of a cross section and getting it to be flat. Now we don't take all the orange peel out right in the very beginning with the 800 because then we might find there's nothing left because we've got to get those 800 scratches out. And so you might get, you know, 1,000 grit, 1,500 grit, 2,000, 2,500 grit. You're going to at least need to get to about 2,500 grit before you start thinking about putting the buffer on it and start bringing the paint back and getting it shiny. So um, those are some of the things that we do here. Um, depending upon how good your clear is, will depend upon where you got to start. If you've got really bad clear, you might, uh, you might uh, have to block it and re-clear it again. So uh, hopefully your painter is doing a good job for you. Uh, our painter here does an excellent job and definitely makes it easy where we can leave a lot of clear on it and still cut it, buff it, and have it turn out pretty awesome. So a couple tips and tricks. Once you get down to kind of the final coat and you're kind of wrapping it up, you can use a little bit of a rubber or softer sponge for some of the final layers and kind of smooth everything out. You definitely try to stay away from those hard edges. You don't want to cut through. Uh, any hard edges and have uh, an accident where you're going to have to repaint uh, any component at all. So anyways, a couple tips and tricks. Hopefully that's help helpful for you and uh, good luck painting.